Welcome to another horror game on Dan's Gaming. We're streaming live on Twitch. We stream there every day. Watch on YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're playing Suffer the Night from itch.io. Let's jump in and see what this is. I have nice fishnets on. I must have dozed off. Jeez, the storm is really picking up. Is there a brightness setting? Nope. Oh my god, that bear is thick. I love him. I want him. That flamingo lamp's intense. I should check the radio for an update on the storm. Storm is crazy. This is an emergency broadcast. This is not a test. The County of Sleepy Woods Mountains has issued a severe lighting storm warning and is suggesting residents stay inside. The National Weather Institute is saying this is a Category 2 storm with sustained winds ranging from 74 to 87 miles per hour and should last all through the evening into tomorrow night. Lighting has struck multiple transformers, causing power outages in some areas. If your power is out or goes out, do not be alarmed. KW357 will continue to follow the storm as it develops. Check back at the top of every hour for updates. Thank you. Can I turn on the lights? Yay! My journal. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Look over his shoulder, oh no. My favorite author. What books do you have in your room? The Red Sky Touch. Well, uh, let's go downstairs. Those neon lights, jeez. I'm really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some coffee to wake me up. Uh, ma'am, are you living in a palace? Like, what is this? This is so big. Cover abandoned for the book, What Lies Below. Written by each, each P.L., my favorite author. Each Pi L. Each Pi L. Each Pi L. Welcome back, Stacey. Please run the following commands. No disc bound. All right, well, let's go downstairs and see um, how we're gonna get murdered. I mean, what, what we're gonna eat for breakfast. Oh my God, cassette tapes. And a boom box. Too many windows.
There is so much space in this place. So much empty space. Oh my god, that TV. Demons of the night. to go to the basement. Basement? Oh, no. Need some eggs and toast. Eggs. Butter. Bread. Um, I need a pot. What? Spoon. Ah, uh, frying pan. Make some eggs. How do you want your eggs, chat? They should be done soon. I need to put a plate on the cutting board. Okay. Uh. Okay, some toast. Oh, we need some coffee too. Coffee. Where's the coffee pot? Uh, has anyone seen the coffee pot? Ah, oh, there it is. In the sink. Need some ground coffee beans. Why are there enchiladas in the cabinet? I thought those only came frozen. Where the hell is coffee? Boom tarts. Um. Cannot find the ground coffee. Um, no. Ah, coffee beans. If I put them on the ground, then they're ground coffee. Yeah, it's a sack of coffee beans. Somehow she's gonna turn that into ground coffee without a grinder. Uh, Resio resub for 23 months and says, Dan, I found this strange prime thing lying around. Do you happen to have a use for it? And while you're at it, could you explain what it is used for? I'm not falling for your bait. Need a coffee mug. You know what prime gaming is, I gotta explain it to you. some clothes in the wash down in the basement. Are you trying to die? Going into the basement? Are you crazy? Holy hell, this is a basement. She has so much room in this place. a pool table and like a lounge area in your basement and you have a whole separate laundry room what the 
Your basement's bigger than a lot of people's houses. Holy damn. Laundry was used. Well, the power thing is down here in the basement. What the hell is that? Atari! Why is the front door open? Who would be here at this hour and in this storm? Who? Who would be here at this? At the point, I wouldn't go outside unless I need to. We just had a doorbell ring, though, ma'am. Oh, this is your front door. You have two front doors. When did this envelope get here? To you, Stacy. Suffer the night. A floppy disk? Where did this come from? There's no one at the door. Uh, do you want to play a game? <laughs> By the way, chat, um, I want to remind everybody, um, th this stream is sponsored by our sponsor. Uh, they had a little bit of money left over from the 90s. Um, to fund this, so don't copy that floppy, all right? Remember, kids, if you have a floppy, don't copy that floppy. Thank you. Run, drive, A. Supper the night. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You awaken on cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A sickly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. This commands get up. Get up. You slowly rise to your feet. As you do, a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You're in a cave or cavern of some kind. A bright light from the distance grabs your attention. Search. Nothing was found. Go forward. A cliff face lies before you. Uh, the light you notice is coming from the top. You must climb to reach it. Search. Nothing was found. Climb up. You reach the top of an old, the top, an old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as the breeze blows down the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. Search. Another was found. Use item. No items were useful here. Go forward. You enter a large open mausoleum. Its chambers are empty, except surrounded by fresh wax candles. A single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. To your right, there's a large wooden double door. Search. You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from a grotesque stench. Inside is the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. While searching the coffin and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands, disgustingly peeling back his finger from his rigor mortis hand. You take the, the key. The key was added to your inventory. Go right. The torch light... Two torches light the wooden door that blocks your way. 
You try to open it, but a key is required. Use item. You use the key to open the door. The path leads to the right. Go right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello. Uh. Sir? Who are you? Sir? What are you doing? Oh, okay. You're fine. Joss and Easel. Dark corners. No, we're good. Okay. You turn the corner in another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path. Just as you investigate the surroundings, a gut-wrenching scream echoes up the walls towards you. <laughs> Search. Nothing was found. Go forward. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepulcher housed inside are two small coffins that have been nailed and fastened shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the two coffins. Search. You check inside the urn, expecting to find ash, but inside, the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. You reach in and find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off. Perhaps a family heirloom. You apply pressure to the spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. Surprisingly, it still works. The lighter was added to your inventory. Go right. You tend to perceive the path ahead is obscured by darkness. Use item. Using the lighter. A Like an explosion, and all the power just went out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Murderer? Can I at least finish my game? It looks like the transformer blew. Lightning must have struck it. We need to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. Murderer, if I could please finish my game first, that would be great. Thank you. I would just like to finish my game. You know, gamer. If you could just not murder me until I'm done with my game, that would be great. Thank you. The fridge is open. At least she's living alone in this giant ass mansion. Damn, I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There's some fuel out back at the boathouse. I should grab a flashlight in the garage before I hang outside. Out back? Are you serious? Well, I guess we have to go outside. I think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom the last time I took a shower. The bat. The bat. Where's your bathroom? I don't remember seeing a bathroom. Uh. Oh, the fuse must have blown. 
That light bulb is toast. That was weird. Okay, we need to go outside. Into the garage? Um, where is the garage door, ma'am? Maybe here? Okay. I need the garage door key to open the door. What the hell is that? Do I not have the garage door key? Oh, there we go. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should be some fuel I can use for the generator there. Right. Let me try the other one. The boathouse. Guessing down this way? I'm sure this will be perfectly safe, chat. What do you expect? A murderer to appear and start killing us? <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I should head back to the basement. You are extremely too calm for this situation, madam. She is way too calm. the door any killers murderers thieves evildoers mayhem makers ne'er-do-wells see anybody thankfully let's try the basement again the rain sound is extremely loud in this game I don't know why It's like it's outside. It should be a little bit quieter than, it, than being directly in, outside into it. Circuit breaker, and that should listen to the power. The power should be working now. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. Should only turn lights on that you need to have on. Okay. So, playing video games is still necessary power. Got it. I 
I need to use the phone report the transformer for oh. What? There's no signal. The line's dead. Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? Uh oh. What? The doorbell again? What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? Trick or treat. Hello? Someone out there? Oh my god. I'm not going out that creep outside. Sir? Is that a knife? Okay, let's uh... Willy Wonka? Hurry, to the Wonka Vader! It's his cousin, Billy Wonka. I didn't know who's at the front door. Oh, ow. Hello? Who's there? Hello, young lady. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside to use your phone? Oh, you sound like a nice guy, sure. What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Well, perhaps I can come in to dry off and get out of this storm. I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. Very well, Stacy. I'll find my own way in. What? <laughs> what? Sir? No. Sir? Sir? You're being creepy. You're a creep. You are a creep, creep, creep. Um, Tifa, can you keep me safe? Chief is gonna keep me safe from the guy who's staring through the window at me and somehow knew my name. What the hell is what going the? on? He's got How did that creep know my name? He's got Freddy Krueger claws. <laughs> what is that sound? Is that the phone? Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. 
Hello, Stacy. Uh oh. You sick fuck, why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. I'll make you a deal. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. I don't like the word might there. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you, leave me alone. I, I have a gun. I know you're lying, Stacy. Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. Oh, no. This guy's really getting under my skin. Using the lighter, a large stairway is limited in front of you. Try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. Go forward. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out the path to use the right. You enter a spacious room filled with a large round wooden table and at its center. On the table sits a small lockbox. Chains surround the box and feed into the skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron gate, the other is open. Nothing was found. Uh, go right. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. This one suspiciously has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Use item. Go forward. Tend to proceed with the path that is obscured by darkness. Search. Use item. Use the lighter. You illuminate the hallway stretches into darkness. The air is stale and clay urns are scattered all over the floor. You knock one over as you walk and ash is kicked up in the air. Nostrils and mouth filled when you breathe it in, causing you to cough. Go forward. Continuing down the hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of its body into pulp. Inside of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes the man's abdomen, but looks lodged too deeply to make it out. All it can is straight. Search. You reach into the corpse's abdomen and up through its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the, fall from the ground. Press near to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. Its strange key is made the bone on the top of the skull has been carved. The skull is out of the inventory. Double doors, you walk up to them and they slam shut. You race open them, but they are impervious to your efforts. The way is impassable. Go forward. All right. Tearing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. Uh, go forward. You reach into the hallway and find a large window. Iron bars cover the window, allowing no escape. Peer out hoping to find some signs of life, but see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage off to the left, stand behind it, the path continues. Uh, go left. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. Enormous brazier stands between two pillars. Two metal rings are on the top with wax candles attached. 
uh, all around. A gust uh, blows past you, but its source is not apparent. Search. You inspect the brazier, and you see that it is a crawl space concealed behind it. You drag the brazier while standing under its weight until it's out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Uh, crawl in. You crawl into the confined space. Its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead, you can see the exit. Go forward. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? It sounded like it came from downstairs. I need to finish the game, though. It won't let me. Okay. Sir? Sir. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. Um. Oh god, his little claw hands. You know what? I'm gonna shine light in your eyes and give you permanent eye damage over the course of a long period of time. Then we'll see who's laughing. Um. Yeah, I would put windows if I have enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. Okay, let's keep playing his little stupid game. Uh I don't like how dark it is in here. You exit the crawl space in a chamber, small table on your right. On our small, tidy candles, what look like human bones. Left a small flight of stairs, then you're created open. The entryway is wide and open. Search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter, which might be handy, so you decide to take it. Use item. Go. Left. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from a hole in the ground on the left. Something was found. Use item. You secure the uh, rope to the bed with a bowling uh, bow tie knot. If you want to, you can now send it to the sewer drain. However, the smell is very uninviting. Climb down. Lower the you lower the rope until you're at the drain uh, base. When you jump to the ground, you splash into a a layer of viscous sewage. You suddenly retch, start to heave, then ultimately throw up. Clutch your composure and glance around, noticing the path you in front of you. Go forward, sloshing through the poop and uh, urine, uh, you reach a corner. The path continues to your left. Uh, you enter a circular room. There's a stairway leading up. You spot a body floating in the sewage. It's covered in black robes. It drips up and down, its face only partially visible. Here it's fixated on you with its bright yellow eye. 
Ah! Approaching the course of caution, you push the roll over as you do. Springs alive with a blood curling shriek. It charges you, slashing with a claw like fingernails. You've made initial strikes, but then you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. It squirrels back before vanishing up the stairs. Nothing was found. Go up. You began to ascend the stairs. You move. Blood begin. Blood begins to ooze from the wound that thing gave you. Torches light the stairway, but the top is pitch black. Search. Oh, oh. are dead. Okay. Jinkies. Well, we died. Let's try that again without dying. Search. Go left. Use item. Climb down. Go forward. Go left. Um. Use item. Go back. I don't think there's a way to go down. I think we have to go that way. Go left. Search. Go up. Top is pitch black. Search. Go up. Top of stairs, uh, use item. The light illuminates the, your surroundings startled. You step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. Oh. Okay, so it, I thought he wanted me to keep playing the game and not look at him, but nope. He, he, uh... Okay. Great. What fun. Maybe if you die in the game, he kills you in IRL too. back go back Item. It looks like there's no way to like go past this thing without it slicing at you. Crawl in, go forward. Uh, 
Uh, go left. Use item. Climb down. Search. Item go forward. Now, this game is called Suffer the Night. I forgot to change it. Suffer the Night. Search. Use item. Go left. Use item. <laughs> Flashlight's not working. I see you. The bastard tore straight through the wall of dressing while I was downstairs. What the fuck? Whatever it is, it's not human. Finish the game. Oh god. Okay. Uh Search. Send uh, blood begins to ooze from the wound that gate the thing gave you. Search. Go up. Use item. Light illuminates your surrounding startled. You take a step back as you're fronted by a wall of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to left behind some catacombs. Go left. You find the corner of a vast room, four pillars enclose an enormous well, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which the moon shines. Narrow passages off to the left. Search. Uh, you find the guardrail. You get close to the well, you examine the water. A spherical object is glowing with hues of yellow and red. It nearly uh, seems to be begging you to remove it. Uh, from the slimy water. You begin to experience an unnatural yearning to grab it. Uh, Go back. Grab item. Reach for the strange orb, but as you do, the road creature bursts from a desk and its face twists into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms towards the orb and light, almost as if making an offering. Fix an orb, you're unable to stop yourself from snatching it. The creature slowly slinks back into the abyss. Strange orb is added to your inventory. Search. Uh, use item. Go left. Skull and bones carefully place a macabre pattern. Litter the small passage. Very end of Vizier sits in his flame like a beacon. Go forward. I think I'm losing my mind. Yep. A pair of skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two braziers. From the earth, a golden statue of a hand rises out, fingers vision as if it were holding something, yet it, uh, it hand is empty. Search. Use item. Place a strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks slightly into the ground. Rum begins to intensify. A large round stone slab begins to rise. A brief moment, dust and debris fills the air, making it difficult to see. When, when it settles, you notice a new passage has been revealed. Traveling deeper in the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped monuments. All the way up, they are adorned with a row of skulls, bones, and lone statues. 
further back. It's followed by two more morbid monuments. Search. Use item. Go forward. I don't know how much more of this I can take. The chamber is lit. Uh, 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 you arrive before a golden statue of a person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier trucked by numerous bones. Path to the right. Search. Examine the gleaming statue basin was engraved to it. Blood is the bond. The blade is the key. An offering must be made. Use item. Go right. Uh, a spiral staircase is found when you leave turn the corner. The steps are lit by the light above. Right and left graves have been dug into the walls. Skull and bones cover the walls with stairs. Go up. <laughs> you climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your left, a large candelabra made of bones. Can Bap, you look in over the golden statues directly ahead. Go right. You approach the passage and see that it's blocked by an iron gate. A wooden counterweight lever is mounted to the wall next to the gate. Search. Again, rotate the counterweight lever. The gate begins to rise. Continue the passage to open. Go forward. We need to stop that shit, game. Let me finish playing. At the end of the passage, you find a set of double doors. Light shines through the gaps of the doors. You press against them, notice they are unlocked. Search. Use item. Go forward. You push your, the doors open to find yourself in a familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room. And you can see that you are back in the room with Skull's chest. However, you are on the opposite side now, inside the iron cage. Search. Nothing was found. Use item. Go forward. Gate iron cage is now unlocked. You approach the skull chest. Um, use the skull key I found. You turn the strange key after inserting the skull's mouth. The chest is unlocked. You discover a blade inside. You can see that it's covered in weird writing and symbols that shimmers in the light. You feel yourself falling into the trance you inspect it. It's absolutely beautiful. Strange daggers out of your inventory. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Search. Use item. You cut a gash into the palm of your hand. That was in the game. Face starts committing blood as it does. The sound of gears turning can be heard. But it's unclear where it's coming from. Search. You search the area to try to locate the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path that op opened where uh, Grave once stood. Force way through, notice the staircase in the distance. Close to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gears spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the way back. Go up. Climb the steps into a dark room. Dozens of light candles are scattered across the floor. Their light reflects off marble floor and polished granite pillars. A chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is suddenly quiet. You moving further in the room, you find yourself at its center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. You try to use the lighter you found, but the fuel is spent. Your heart begins to race. You experience an increasing sense of dread. You walk up to the table, a few candles and a solitary book with a 
quill are placed on the on it. A figure in black suit and top hat is seated behind a table. Its hands appears to be fitted with a glove that have knives attached to each finger. Its head is leaning sideways on the table. Its facing face expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes and various uh, poses surround the figure. Search. You examine the book. Its cup co- its feet cover features an odd symbol and is bound in leather. Stunning teal feather is uh, to make the quill. It feeds into a nib on the complex engraving. The figure on the chair remains motionless. Open book. The leather strap holding the book closed is released. Book flips open. You hear the jarring crack of bones. A head, the head of the figure slowly rises. You freeze in horror as a stare comes face to face with you as it starts to talk to you in a sinister voice. You finally arrived. It continues. You have completed all the trials. The key was taken. The orb given. Blood offered. The game is nearly finished. Finger indicates the book while stating, "So I have one thing left. When you put your name in the book, the game is over. You only need a quick signature to be free." Stacy Lighton, please sign and clear. Game over. Sam in the contents of the book on the left is a symbol of crescent moon along with a dagger. Other symbols, um, text in a language you don't comprehend. Also present, there is a lengthy list of names on the right page. Each name is written with a unique handwriting. Signed book. You take the quill and write the name Stacy Lighton on the right. Continue. Continue. What the hell? That's that her house. Looks like my house. Continue. Continue. Uh oh. It sounded like it came from the attic. Uh oh. I think that freak's inside. Oh no. Oh no. You have an attic? Sir? Sir? Is anyone up there? Chat, you go upstairs and check. I'm going to stay here. I have to go every time. One of you do it this time, okay? You have made me go into every scary room. One of you are going to go up there, okay? This one time. Let me have a break. I'm going to take a break. Someone go up there and get killed and get scared, and then I'll laugh at you. How about that? No help. Nope. So many nopers and shit. Wow, come on. All right. Kevin. Damn it. All right. Um. Oh, of course, there's lots of shells blocking my ability to see around corners. Monster who's trying to kill Can we talk about this maybe? I beat your game. Does that mean I win? Are you gonna leave me alone? Oh god. Uh-oh. Hi. Oh hello. Hi, hello, hello. Flashlight's not working. Oh, uh oh, it's it's trapped. Oh god. What the fuck? It won't open. It just won't budge just now. Um No! End of demo. Thank you for playing. Please wish us full release on Steam. Oh, that's a it's going to be a full game someday. That was a very good demo. Very good. Very nice. That was a very good demo. That was like a full-length game. I enjoyed that. Very good. 
It's called Suffer the Night. <laughs> Comes out in December. That's Christmas. That was very good, though. I like that. I give it four pandas out of t out of five penguins.